David Nutter update. He was on a plane to Nashville for a bachelor party, and he suspected on the plane with him was Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> it turned out to be the case. Here's that picture. Silly. All right, for tomorrow's song, we need to learn how to put our guitar in open C sharp tuning. And you know, over the many weeks, many months, and many years that we're doing this together, I hope to slowly explain to you, of course, how music sort of works. So here to explain to us what open C sharp tuning is exactly is, yeah, you guessed it, Miss Poopadoo. Yeah. Wow, tough crowd. All right, music theory snob disclaimer. I know that we should be calling this the D flat uh, scale, not the C sharp scale, but uh, because we're guitar players, not real musicians, we're just going to use C sharp because we think better in sharps, not flats. C sharp being the exact same note as D flat. You call it either one depending on the situation. Anyways, as I've said before, uh, open anything means we're looking for the root and the third and the fifth of the major scale from the key of whatever it is we're talking about. Since we're talking about open C sharp, we're looking for the C sharp major scale. Now a whole step means two frets higher, and a half step means one fret higher, and the pattern for every single major scale is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, or when would hamsters wield weapons with horses? little bit, but not very much easier to remember than that. All right, here we go. So C sharp is where we start, and a whole step higher than that, we're going to skip over D and go to D sharp. A whole step higher than D sharp is skip over E and go straight to F, because there's no such thing as E sharp. A whole step, a half step, I'm sorry, higher than F is F sharp. This is why we should be calling it D flat, because you're not allowed to say F and F sharp in the same sentence. Uh, anyways, a whole step higher than F sharp, skip over G and go to G sharp. A whole step higher than G sharp, skip over A and go to A sharp. Whole step higher than A sharp, skip over B and go straight to C, because there's no such thing as B sharp. It's a uh, be sure never to say B sharp or E sharp. And the last one, a half step higher than C is C sharp. There's the other example of why we should have called it D flat, but it doesn't matter. We know what we're talking about. So we are looking for a guitar tuning with C sharp, F, because that's the third, and G sharp, because that's the fifth. Now here's how you do it. Back to you, Ryan. Guys, be nice to Miss Poopa Tube. She's fragile. All right, here we go. So E is going to go down three half steps or a whole step and a half, however you want to think about it, to C sharp. A is going to go down one half step to G sharp. That was our fifth. G sharp, AKA A flat, says my tuner. Uh, D is going to go down just one half step to the same, well, but one octave higher, C sharp that E did. So far, it's very similar to uh, drop C sharp, right? Okay, G is gonna go down one whole step to F. Or if you turned the wrong one, it was the F sharp string. Uh, B is going to go down to G sharp, that's three half steps. And E is going to go down to C sharp, just like E did. And now we have the same thing as open D, except everything is one half step lower than that, even. Uh, I'm not going to strum this because you should probably go through your strings one or two more times, depending on what kind of guitar you have, to make sure they're all... correct, because when you change, you know, one drastically, the others kind of shift along with it. Darn close. Here's a big, beautiful, open C-sharp major chord. And that is how you put your guitar in open C-sharp tuning, and I will see you, I will see you tomorrow with the reason why we just learned how to do that. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Goodbye.